Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install Postgres SQL 15 version on Windows operating system. This process is same for Windows 10, Windows 11 and Windows servers also. Go to postgresql.org. This is the official website of Postgres SQL. Okay. See the notice here on 13th October. PostgreSQL 15 has been released. Click on this download button. In downloads, click on this Windows icon. Now click on this download the installer. Now we have been redirected to Enterprise DB. See, these are the, see, these are the Available PostgreSQL versions. We can get up to 9.3. That is the lowest version, and the latest version is 15.0. Now, in the Windows x86 64 column, click on this download icon. See, download has been started. Go to downloads. See, it takes 2 minutes, but I have already downloaded, so I am cancelling this download. In your case, wait until download completes. Then go to the downloads directory. See, this is the exe file, that is Postgres 15.0. Double click on the downloaded Postgres SQL exe file. Then click on S. Click on next. See, this is the directory where PostgreSQL will be installed. If you want to change, click on this browse button, then provide the directory. Select any one of them or create a new directory and select. I am going with default directory that is C program files PostgreSQL 15. Then click on next. See, these are the components comes with PostgreSQL installer file. First one is the database server. Second one is pgadmin4 that is graphical user interface for managing PostgreSQL database and servers. Next one is stack builder which contains additional tools and drivers and applications. Next one is command line tools. I am going to install all, select all and click on next. If you want to specify data directory other than the Default one in the same way, open and select, then click on next. Provide the password for the Postgres, that is the super user. Remember this password for future uses. Notice here, Postgres is the username, then click on next. This is the default port, if you want to change, change it, then click on next, the next local setting. I am going with the default one. If you want to change, you can change from the drop down. Then click on next. This is the free installation summary. Review it. If you want to modify, then click on back and edit and click on next. Notice here, this is the installation log file. After installation, you can go to, you can open this file and see the installation summary. Click on next click on next
PostgreSQL installed successfully. If you want to download and install Stack Builder, then we have to check the checkbox. Otherwise, we have to uncheck it. The Stack Builder takes time. I am cancelling the Stack Builder. Later, you can try to install the Stack Builder. So, we have successfully installed PostgreSQL Server on Windows Operating System. Connect to Postgres. PSQL. PSQL is the SQL shell to connect to Postgres server. Server name is localhost I haven't given. Database, the default database that is Postgres. Port also we have given 5432. That is the default port. Username Postgres. Password, provide the password for this user that we have given. See, we have connected to Postgres server. Let's verify whether it, this is Postgres SQL 15 version or not. We have connected Postgres SQL 15. Let's verify the list of the databases. See, there are three databases. Postgres template 0 and template 1. These are the three default databases comes with Postgres SQL server 15. Now connect to PostgreSQL server by using pgadmin. Pg admin. First time we have to set the password for pgadmin. Expand servers. Expand servers. Now provide the pass. Now provide the password for this PostgreSQL 15. Server for the user Postgres. See, we have connected. See, in databases, we have only one database that is Postgres. The other two are templates. Let's create a database. Create database test 1, 2, 3. We have successfully created database from shell. Right click on refresh to to reflect the database here. See, we have created a database. So, in this video, we have seen how to download and install Postgres SQL 15 version on Windows operating systems. Then, we have seen how to connect to Postgres SQL Server by using PSQL shell and PG admin tools. For more Postgres SQL Server videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.